Welcome to the class students. Today we are going to discuss chapter 3 fiber to fabric. Let's warm up. Match the clothes to the season. So you can do it because you know about it. Here it is. Let's know about need of clothes, sources of clothes. What are fabrics made of? Types of fibers. How do we get fabric? So these are the topics we will discuss in this chapter. Clothes are one of our basic needs. Humans started covering themselves with leaves and bark of plants to protect themselves from the harsh weather and harmful animals and insects. Then they started wrapping themselves in animals, a skin which provided better protection than humans invented needle and started stitching skins. The first, the first clothes are believed to be made from the stem of flax plants. So students, kya hai ki hume clothes jo hai hamari basic need hai. जो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स हैं वो पहले अपनी बॉडी को जो प्लांट लीव्स हैं या बार ऑफ प्लांट्स हैं उससे कवर करते थे फिर धीरे-धीरे उन्होंने एनिमल स्किन से खुद को कवर करना स्टार्ट किया और उसके बाद इन्वेंशन किया नीडल का और नीडल के जब से नीडल का इन्वेंशन हुआ तब से वो स्टिचिंग करने लगे स्किन्स को और ऐसा माना जाता है कि सबसे पहले जो स्ट्रिचड क्लॉथ थे वो स्टेम ऑफ फ्लेक्स प्लांट से बनाए गए थे ओके स्टूडेंट्स हियर नीड ऑफ क्लॉथ्स क्लॉथ्स आर मेनली यूज्ड टू प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम कोल्ड heat rain etc people living in different places wear different types of clothes depending on the climate of the place for example people living in gujarat wear cotton while people living in kashmir wear woolen clothes so students hame clothes ki need kyu hai abhi hum nayi baat discuss ki hum clothes jo hai different different types ke wear karte hain theek hai har jagah ke log alag tarah ke kapde pehante hain alag fabric se bane hote hain और ये डिपेंड हमारी क्लाइमेट पे करता है कि हम कैसे कपड़े पहनते हैं जैसे गुजरात में लोग कॉटन के कपड़े पहनते हैं वैसे कश्मीर में लोग वुलन क्लॉथ्स पहनते हैं लुक एट द पिक्चर कश्मीरी वुमेन वियर वुलन क्लॉथ्स हियर डू यू नो द सीविंग नीडल वाज इन्वेंटेड अबाउट 40000 इयर्स एगो हियर सोर्सेस ऑफ क्लॉथ्स फैब्रिक यूज्ड टू मेक क्लॉथ इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय वीविंग और नेटिंग टेक्सटाइल फैब्रिक क्लॉथिंग Different type of fabrics are used to make whereas many of them are man-made. For thousands of years, humans used only natural fabrics such as cotton, wool, silk, jute and linen. But nowadays, a large variety of synthetic and blended fabrics are available. Each type of fabric has a different texture or feel. For example, silk is smooth to touch whereas wool is rough. Look at the picture. Linen, cotton, zoot, wool. These are the types of fabrics. So students, sources of clothes का meaning है कि कपड़े हमें मिलते कहाँ से? देखो कपड़ा है fabric. हमें मिलता कहाँ से है? Fibers. पहले जो लोग थे वो normal क्या use करते थे? Natural fibers. But आज के time में we have too many types of fibers जो हम use करते हैं अपनी daily अपने clothes में. Here is an activity. Aim to learn about different types of fabrics and their texture. Procedure. Go to the tailoring shop in your neighborhood. Request the tailor to show your different types of fabrics. Touch them and feel the difference in their texture. So students, it is very normal. आप अपने घर में भी कर सकते हैं different different fabrics के कपड़ों को लें और उन्हें touch करें, feel करें कि वो कैसे हैं. Okay? Here, what are fabrics made of? Small threads or hair-like strands make up thread. Pull out one of these strands. Fabric is a single hair-like strand and the fabrics are made up of fibers. So now you know that fibers are made into yarn and yarns are made into fabrics. And then cut and stretch into clothes. In other words, fiber is a basic unit of fabric. Get it students? So fiber kaisa hota hai? Fabric mein kya hota hai? Fiber. Or fiber ki structure kaisi hota hai? Hair-like structure. Here is types of fibers. Fibers are the thread used to make fabrics. Fibers can be classified based on the source from which they are derived. They are broadly classified as cotton, wool, types of yarns. Here is natural fibers. These are the fibers obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals. Synthetic or man-made fibers. These fibers are made from chemical substances obtained generally from petroleum. Let's learn more about them. Here is again natural fibers. Natural fibers are further classified into 
plant and animal fibers. Plant fibers. These are also called vegetable fibers. These fibers are obtained from different plants. For example, cotton fibers, flex fibers, jute fibers, bamboo fibers and coconut husk, coir. All these fibers are made of cellulose which is a carbohydrate. Come to the next, animal fibers. These fibers are obtained from different animals. Here of some animals used as fibers is called wool. It is the most common animal fiber obtained from sheep, yak, camel, rabbit and goat. Silk. Silk is another animal fiber obtained from silk bones. It is the strongest animal fibers are made of proteins. Look at the pictures. A sheep, yak, silk worms, animal fibers. Here is common natural fibers. Cotton is soft, fluffy fiber that grows in a bowl around the seeds of cotton plant. Now, use of cotton. Cotton is used to make a number of textiles. Products like t-shirts, towels, shirts, shoots, suits, jeans, socks, bed sheets, pillow covers, etc. Characteristic of cotton fabrics. These are cool to wear. Cotton fabrics are soft and durable. Cotton fabrics are good absorbents of water and therefore dry slowly. They crease easily. Where is cotton grown in India? In India, cotton is grown in Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab. Here, do you know? India, Bangladesh, Nepal, China and Thailand are some of the leading jute making countries of the world. How cotton is obtained? Different steps of obtaining cotton from cotton plants are as follows. Hand picking. The fruits of cotton plants are called cotton bowls. Once the cotton bowls are matured, they split open and expose the cotton fibers. The seed with cotton fibers are picked from the cotton bowl by hand. Second, ginning. The process of separating cotton fibers from the seeds by combing is called ginning. Previously, it was done by hand. In modern times, ginning machines called cotton gins are used to separate cotton fibers from the cotton seeds quickly and easily. So, students, first process is your cotton. If we talk about cotton, how do we obtain it? We use hand picking the cotton bowls. We use seeds to separate cotton seeds. Then, what is the ginning? It is a process to separate the cotton seed and then the fiber. कॉम्बिंग से सेपरेट करते हैं ये पहले हाथों से किया जाता था अब मशीन से होती है लुक एट दिस पिक्चर अ मॉडर्न कॉटन गिन द थर्ड स्टेप इज स्पिनिंग द फाइबर्स आर क्लीन बाय द मशीन्स टू रिमूव द इंप्योरिटीज लाइक लीव्स ट्विक्स एक्सेट्रा वंस द कॉटन फाइबर्स आर क्लीन दे आर स्पिन इनटू योन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग योन फ्रॉम फाइबर इज कॉल्ड स्पिनिंग गेट इट स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑब्टेनिंग कॉटन लुक एट दिस पिक्चर Here is weaving. The yarn is then woven to make fabric. It is done by a special machine called looms. The fabric is then used to make useful products. Look at this picture. That's how weaving of yarns. Come to the next. Look at this picture. Cotton plant, cotton balls, cotton fibers, ginning, spinning, weaving, cotton fabric. Process of obtaining cotton fabric from cotton plants. Get it, students? Do you know? Cotton gin is a short form of cotton engine. It is a machine is used to separate cotton fibers from seeds quickly and easily. Here is activity one. Aim to understand weaving by making a table mat. Things required: chart papers of two different colors, scissors, pencil, and scale. Method: Take a sheet of chart paper and fold it into half. Look at the figure A. That's how you have to fold it. Draw lines on the folded paper as shown in figure B. Get it, students? Come to the next. Cut the paper along the lines and then unfold as shown. Get it? Come to the next step. Take the other chart paper and cut 1 inch 2.5 centimeter wide strips as shown in figure D. Look at the figure D. That's how you have to cut the strips. Pass the cut strip through the E first chart paper yellow show that the first cut strip passes above the yellow paper then below the yellow paper and so the second cut strip passes through the yellow paper but in a reverse order 
weave the cut strips in the first chart paper as shown in figure E. And next, your table mat is ready. So that's how is weaving done. Get it, students? This is a very interesting activity. You can do it by yourself. Here is jute. Jute fibers are obtained from the stem of the jute plant. The stems are soaked in water for days. They start rotting and the fibers separated from them by hand. These fibers are dried and woven into fabric. The golden coil fibers are then spun into yarns. The yarns are used to make mats, floor covering, gardens, articles, aquarium filters and drops. Next, linen. Linen fibers are obtained from the flex plant. The stem of harvested plants are dried and beaten to remove the fibers by hand. These fibers are then changed into fabric. Linen is often used for bed coverings. Here, coir. Coir fiber is obtained from the outer covering of the coconut fruit that grows on the coconut palm. The outer covering of the coconut is called husk. To obtain coir fibers, the husk is removed from the coconut and soaked in under for up to 10 months. The softened husk is then beaten to get the fabrics. Here is synthetic fibers. These are also called man-made fibers. These are made from the chemicals obtained from petroleum. These are many types of synthetic fibers. Some examples are polyester, nylon, decron and acrylic. These are used for textile as well as other purpose. Synthetic fibers are generally lighter than natural fibers and have less water retention capacity. They are more inflammable than natural fibers. Look at the picture. Nylon fabric, acrylic fabric. Here we have check and mate. So you can do it by yourself as we already read about it. What we learn in this chapter, we discuss it in a nutshell. In ancient times, people used to wear a skin of animals and brick or leaves of trees. Cotton is the most commonly used fabric in making clothes. Fibers are made into yarns and yarns are made into fabric. And fabrics are then cut and stitched into clothes. Fiber is the basic unit of fabric. Fiber that are obtained from natural sources such as plants and animals are called natural fibers. Fibers that are made from chemical substances are called synthetic or man-made fibers. Animal fibers include silk and wool. Here are some keywords. Fabric, a piece of cloth, fibers, here like structures obtained from plants and animals to make fabrics. Ginning, separating cotton fibers from seeds by combing. Weaving. The arrangement of two sets of yarns perpendicular and alternate to each other. A spinning, changing cotton fiber into yarns. Yarn, the thread from which fabrics are made by weaving or knitting. Synthetic fibers, human-made fibers. Thank you students. We will meet again in the next chapter.